Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of April 2024. This is the bonus read, not to be confused with the uh, regular monthly read, which is already up on the channel. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. So we're going to get started with your overall energy and what's going on with the Scorps. Your overall energy is the Queen of Wands in the upright position. It is uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For some of you, there could be a Queen of Wands that is playing a prominent role in your life this month. Or it could be you are embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a go-getter, is interested in getting things happening getting things moving, moving in the right direction, likes to travel, likes um, adventure. She, uh, wands also represent uh, business and enterprise as well as um, passion, excitement, and just action and activity. So it could be a very action-packed uh, month for you. Some of you um, are dealing with the Queen of Wands. This could be your spouse. This could be a friend, a family member. Or somebody new that comes into your life who's just really all about the action. Let's, you know, poking you and prodding you to get moving, get going. Let's let's go do something fun. Um, your crossing energy, which is something that will be waning in and out during the month. We have here, oh, the page of wands in the upright position. Nice. Uh, good news. It looks like um, some good news could be coming your way. You could be sharing some good news uh, with others this month. This is just sort of in and out throughout the month of uh, energies that are there for you, Scorpio, throughout the month of uh, April. There could be good news coming in. It could be concerning uh, travel, could be concerning business and em enterprise. It could be concerning a package that you've been waiting a long time to get and boom, here it is, right? For others of you, this could be hearing from someone, a page of wands could be messaging you, sending you a message. This person just wants to have fun, maybe is interested in um, doing some business with you. It just depends on your situation. Remember, these are just general reads, so just take what makes sense in your scenario. But yeah, the page of wands, very exciting, fun energy. For some of you, this rep can represent a travel agent. Maybe somebody's getting in touch with you over uh, travel plans really cool. Let me know in the comment section below if you're planning on traveling somewhere or uh, maybe come back afterwards and say, hey, you know, my friend called me and said, um, I booked you a ticket or we are going somewhere. <laughs> Let me know if that happens. So coming into the month of April, you have the high priestess in the upright position. The high priestess represents something is going on behind the scenes you may not be aware of. Scorpios are very intuitive. You could be sensing it. You could be feeling it, but you have to use your intuition. Nobody can really tell you what is really happening. You're just going to have to wait and find out. <laughs> or if you do meditation like I do when I feel off about something and I'm trying to get in touch with it, I usually do some meditation so I can get that inspiration. Sometimes I'll even dream about it and I'm like, oh, I know that's what it is that I'm feeling or sensing. For some of you, there's just some hidden information around. Maybe you're um, waiting to, you know, have that hidden information come to light. But in the meantime, you could be coming into the month in a little bit of suspense, not knowing what what lies beneath. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Now, in the middle of the month, we have, oh, the Three of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful. It's time to celebrate something in uh, mid-April. Some of you could be going to a baby shower or a bridal shower or a small wedding. Could be a small get-together. Could be a bon voyage party for some of you. And for others of you, um, yeah, it could just represent getting together with a you know, maybe co-workers or something like that. 
to celebrate something. It's nice when it's in the upright position. It looks like you'll have a good time. The party's going well. Things are making you feel good, feel like, you know, really good on the emotional front. So if maybe some of you are sensing something, it's like, oh, you're about to get an invitation from this uh, page of wands. And here you go. You end up at this uh, get together, this thing, and you have a really good time. And the last card you have leaving the month of uh, April is the Eight of Wands in the upright position, which is a card of arrows of love find their mark. This could be a lot of communication going back and forth, especially if you just met somebody. Oftentimes we can sort of get into that um, cycle of uh, sending, like talking all the time on the phone or sending them uh, emails, text messages they're sending and phone calls and things like that. So it's constant communication. For others of you, good news if you are in business for yourself. This can indicate a lot of new clients, a lot of new business coming your way. It can also indicate uh, invitations. Maybe some of you are getting a lot of social invitations. The season uh, is just starting for that kind of stuff. So it could be that you're making a lot of plans. Others of you it could be on dating sites and maybe you're getting a lot of activity that way. Or you could be putting your resume out there and getting a lot of callbacks for that. Um, this is how you leave the month. And it's also a card that represents sudden travel. So perhaps some of you are getting a message from the uh, page of wands here about travel and uh, you could be needing to go somewhere really quick at the end of the month or there could be somebody or a group of people coming traveling to come and see you see there's a lot of wands here in this reading so it could be Scorpio that there's a lot of action activity movement it could be uh, travel as well business and enterprise, passion, fun, excitement. Um, it, there's a lot going on basically in the month of uh, April for you. And it is airy season. Um, so uh, there tends to be a lot of activity going on. The, the Hierophant, or no, not the Hierophant, but the High Priestess coming in to the month. There's something happening here. You sense it, you feel it ahead of time. But... <clears throat> It seems like you don't you don't know. It seems like there all of this activity sort of comes out of the blue, comes out of nowhere, and it could be um, with this this page of wands sending you an invitation, and there's some kind of event that you're going to in the middle of the month, and it seems to sort of spark the maybe some of you at this event you meet somebody, and then this sparks the arrows of love on their mark. Others of you, you could be meeting somebody at this party and uh, perhaps if you have your own business or something, maybe you make a lot of business contacts and so uh, communication keeps going or you meet somebody and um, perhaps they you know, are giving you lines on jobs like here, check this place out, check that place out. They're giving you uh, leads. That's what I meant, not lines. <laughs> so... That's what I have for you, my dear Scorpios. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous month of uh, April. And can't wait to hear from you in the comment section below. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.